Luminar. So Luminar is a program from a company called Skylum, who were once known as McFun. And Luminar is basically a full featured photo editor. And the photo editor works a couple of different ways. It has what are called presets, which are these things down the bottom, which will change the style of your image or there's also filters as well. And so the filters are what I'm gonna look at today. The main thing that I wanted to show with this, and I will do other videos on, on Luminar more broadly, but the main thing I wanted to show you is a new feature that they've added to the upcoming version of Luminar, which should release on, I think, the 1st or 2nd of November. And that's basically an AI sky enhancer. So usually what you would have to do in a photo is you would have to mask around the edges, select the sky, and then do a range of enhancements for that. And it was a little bit fiddly. It could be done. Um, and there are sky enhancers that tried to look at certain colors and, and so on and fix it. Um, but Luminar went the extra step and then looked at AI and how that could help. So you'll have to excuse the photo there. As you can see, there's some dirt marks from my sensor. This is a photo that I've taken uh, and I've actually already run it through Aurora HDR, but I haven't done a whole lot to the sky. So the way that the, the sky enhancer works is in the filters section, if you click on add filters, you'll see there's an essential section. The second down that list is AI Sky Enhancer. So if we click that, we can now see that the AI Sky Enhancer is in this section here. So at the moment, no change because basically we haven't turned it on. We've told it don't, don't do anything. And the way that this Sky Enhancer works uh, um, with the AI feature is that it's a slide in scale of how much you want to apply. So at the moment, it's not doing anything, it's on zero. If we drag it across, you'll see it's really working on the sky. And it's, um, it's probably a little bit too much in this scenario, so we can tone it back a little bit more. This button up the top here is a comparison, and I'm just gonna put that on so you can see side by side. So left is before, right is after. And so what we do with this is we then just tweak it and say, okay, 100's too much. Let's work our way down until we're happy with it. Um, you know, obviously that's too low. So we're, we're probably looking somewhere in the middle. Um, I'm not gonna get into the argument about HDR. That's for a different video. But with this, it's really simple. It is just, AI Sky Enhancer, and then you slide it. And you can see down the bottom, it has managed to just limit that to the sky. So when you look at the video, it's really not doing much to the water, the beach itself, or the rocks behind. It's really just working on the sky. So, you know, it has pretty um, successfully managed to effectively mask that area and then um, do the enhancements that it thinks. And so it works out these enhancements based on an artificial intelligence model. It's been trained with a whole range of photos and then um, it can find the best one and go from there. But of course, we wanna look at other photos as well. I've just picked that example. Let's pick a different one. So over here, I have one. This is a fairly large panorama. Uh, again, not necessarily the best photo, but there's a lot going on in it. And this has already been run through some editing, so it may not necessarily do a lot. But same thing again, we got add filters, AI sky enhancer, and of course it's on zero. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the before and after up, and then let's see what it does. So it's really darkened in the sky, um, probably a little bit too much for this photo, so let's dial it back a little bit. So, you know, maybe 40, 50%. And you can see, 
when you look at these two, it's really sort of made that sky pop a lot more, but it really hasn't done anything to the other areas of the photo. So this is great for when you're just looking at enhancing the sky and you can do other things with the, the other sections of the photo. So the last photo I've got is a little bit of a different one. These have obviously been landscapes. And whilst I do have a landscape one, this has got my kids in it. So let's see what happens with this one. You can see the sky's a little bit washed out and it's not necessarily the best landscape photo. But let's put the before and after up. We'll go add filters, AI sky enhancer. And then in this section to the right, you can see it's on zero. So as we dial it up, you can see it, it's starting to really work on the blues in that sky and just make it pop a little bit more. So you can see a, a huge difference from the after to the before. And all this information is there. It's not replacing it with um, a fake sky or anything like that. It's just masking that area and trying to work out how to optimize that based on its its model. And you can see, I would say, it's done a pretty successful job compared to before, after, um, and not really doing anything to the kids in this photo as well. So that's the uh, Luminar with AI Sky Enhancer walkthrough. Stay tuned to my channel, um, subscribe, like, click the notification and um, you'll see more videos. Within this, I've also put a link below to where you can purchase or download the program. That is an affiliate link. So it's worth bearing in mind that I get a small commission for that, but that doesn't change how um, I review the program or anything like that. It just helps to support my channel. There's also a discount code down below as well that you can use to get a small discount um, on Luminar itself. Thanks for watching.